Let's get started. Take a big inhale through your nose and just fill up with breath. Keep filling. And then open your mouth and let that go. So what I'm gonna read you this morning is a combination of a couple of stories that have crossed my path that I've kind of put my own twist on. So it's a conglomeration of a couple of things that have to do with what we've seen happening in the world for the past couple of weeks. So go ahead again, take another deep breath in through your nose, fill up. Maybe your right hand is on your belly so you notice the inhale coming through the nose. And then as you exhale, let that go completely, fully exhaling, whether you do out the mouth or the nose. And just continue that over and over again, bringing your awareness to your breath, breathing in, finding that pause at the top before you let that go, out your mouth or your nose, but fully letting it go. Our world needs to breathe. Together, as we collectively breathe, we can breathe for those whose respiratory systems have been affected by COVID. We can breathe for George Floyd, who was fatally denied his right to breathe. We can breathe for our better selves. We who practice yoga understand breath. In a deep and intimate way, we know that breath is life-giving, that it is life-changing, and that it is shared equally among every living being on this earth. We know exactly what George Floyd's last words, I can't breathe, meant, and exactly what was taken from him. We speak of yoga as a practice intentionally. In doing so, we acknowledge two important truths. The first of these demonstrates that there is no end to our life's work of learning and growing and transforming based on those learnings, as yoga is a practice. The second is that the indicators and markers that we use to try to make sense of who we are as ourselves and who we are in relation to others are nothing more than constructs that we create. These constructs serve our own deeply human need to understand and define ourselves in one way or another. The search for this understanding is what brought many of us to yoga. Through yoga, we deepen the connection and understanding of our true selves. Racism and hate, as this community should recognize, know and practice is the opposite of yoga. It is the opposite of everything that we know yoga to teach us. Ending this kind of hatred at its core is yogic work. So bring your attention back to your breath. If we stay mindfully present and in our breath throughout the day, consider the changes you would start to see. How many times have you forgotten why you walked into a room? How many times have you stayed on edge for an entire day based on anxiety about a future that hasn't even happened yet? So take a moment of gratitude and appreciate the practice of breathing because you can breathe. So take a moment now and just set an intention for your practice for the next hour. Maybe it's just one word. How is it that you want to feel at the end of our yoga practice today. Keep it simple, doesn't have to be complicated. And then together, let's take another unified inhale through the nose, fill up. Open your mouth and say the word ah, and just let that go. And then go ahead and draw your knees into your chest. So squeeze your knees toward the chest so your hips lift slightly off the mat. And then release your hips down, bring your thighs together and just make big circles with your knees like you're stirring a big pot. So go a couple times in one direction. And then go the opposite way, make it feel good on that low back. And then let both of your knees fall over to the right. You're gonna extend your left arm and look over your left shoulder. I like to press my right hand gently on the left knee to give it a little more intensity in the twist. So you can try that if you need that. And then switch it up, let your knees go to the left, look over your right extended arm, and maybe your left hand gently presses on your right knee.
One more breath here. And then come on back to center. We're gonna rock and roll a few times. So just come all the way up and then round your spine and come back down and get a little massage. We're gonna meet in a standing forward fold. Let's see if you can do it without your hands. If you need your hands, please use them. And then you're gonna fold over your thighs. You're welcome to have bent knees here. I did something to my hamstring today, so I'm probably gonna have a lot of bent knees today. But send your sits bones up to the sky, allow your head to hang heavy and just kind of shake it out, yes and no. Let that tension just melt away with gravity. And then with your hands on your shins, inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and fold, Uttanasana. Do that again, inhale, see if you can find a little more length in the spine. Exhale and fold. Find a nice flat back, inhale, rise to standing, reach your arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, draw your hands together at your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Find that nice long spine, slowly exhale, hinge and fold forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. This time we're gonna stay in the fold. Let's bend the left knee, come high up on the left fingertips and reach your right arm up to the sky. Now you can use your block here and have your hand on the block. But I want you to really draw this right hip back and spin your heart open. And then do some circles with your arm, just a big circle like an arm on a clock. And then when you're ready, take that right hand behind your back beginning to get into your shoulders. So think about this right shoulder moving away from your ear. Maybe looking up if that's okay on your neck. On your next inhale, sweep your right arm up to the sky. And then as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look forward halfway. Exhale, fold. And then we're gonna just switch it up. So bend your right knee, come high up on the right fingertips and that left arm goes up to the sky. And then make some big circles with that left arm, big circles going forward. Feel free to go the opposite way if you like. And when you're ready, that half wrap behind the back, pulling that left shoulder away from your ear and either gazing up or just keeping your spine neutral. Your next inhale, left arm reaches up. And then as you exhale, forward fold over your thighs. Good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Let's step back to plank. We're gonna pause in an upward push-up position or plank pose. So we're gonna walk the feet way, way back. Send your heels toward the back of your mat. The crown of your head is reaching forward. You're pressing the floor away from you. Engage the core and just breathe here. Three more deep breaths. You should feel very little weight on your wrist because you're pressing the floor away from you. One more big inhale. This time as you exhale, slowly lower chaturanga. Come all the way down to your belly. When you get there, untuck your toes, hug your elbows in. Inhale, lift your heart for cobra. Shoulders slide down the back. Lower with your exhale. Do that two more times with your breath. Your inhale, find your back bend. And your exhale, you'll come back down. One more. We're gonna take our arms behind the back, lace your fingers, tops of the feet stay on the floor. You're just gonna lift your chest. So imagine I'm standing behind you and I'm gently lifting your wrists towards your feet. Two more breaths right here. And then release your hands by your sides, tuck your toes, find plank, and then make your way to downward facing dog, sending those hips up and back. Spread your fingers, energize your thumb and your forefinger to find that nice lengthening in the back of your body. One more breath. At the bottom of your exhale, look forward, walk your feet to the top of your mat. When you get there, inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Reach your arms up to the sky. 
We're gonna hook your thumbs overhead. And then as your thumbs stay hooked, open your elbows and just look up, find a nice back bend. Inhale, reach those arms up, unhook the thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, plant those hands, step back to plank and lower through your vinyasa with your pace, with your breath. Try to keep the pose and the breath connected. Your inhale is your back bend. Your exhale is downward facing dog. Three breaths in down dog. At the bottom of your next breath, walk or softly float your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise with the breath. Reach up, look up. This time, take your right hand to your hip or your thigh, left arm over the ear. You can also take the hand behind your back if you like a little more support in the low back. Inhale, both arms reach up and just take it the other way. One more breath. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward, lead with your heart. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back, lower through your vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Two more breaths in your down dog. At the bottom of your next exhale, walk or float your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, just fold. This time, take a big step back with your left foot. Find a runner's lunge. So you wanna align your right knee directly over your ankle and slide that left foot way, way back. Let's go ahead and drop the left knee down. Keep those toes tucked under as you walk your hands up on the thigh. So exaggerate letting your shoulders slide down the back and then press away from yourself. You can take your option you like with your arms. You can keep them here for more support. You can reach them up as long as you're allowing your shoulders to slide down the back or maybe find a back bend. So do what feels right for you. Two more breaths. Go ahead and release your left hand down to the mat. Maybe lift the left knee or keep the knee down. Take a twist, right arm up to the sky. If you're lifting your left knee, engage your quadriceps. Take that right arm over your ear, extend from your right pinky all the way back to your left heel. One more breath. Right hand down, step your right foot back to plank, take a vinyasa. Take a big step forward with your left foot. Find a lunge on the left side. Take your time getting set up. Left knee over the ankle. Go ahead and drop that right knee. Walk the hands up on the thigh. Same thing, shoulders go down the back. Send your hips toward me, so come forward. And then keep your spine nice and tall. Do whatever you like with your arms. Just to make sure your breath is still fluid with whichever option you're taking. One more big inhale, then right hand comes down. Take a twist of your choice. That knee can be up or down. Think about drawing your navel in toward the spine to deepen your twist a little more. And then take that arm over your ear. You can gaze at it or just look up. On your next exhale, left hand down. Step the left foot back. Take a vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. At the end of your next exhale, walk or float your feet to the top. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to the top, reach up, look up. We're gonna take your hands behind your back, lace your fingers. Let your hands slide down the backside of your body. Little standing back bend, gazing up 
you're outside gazing up at the clear blue sky we have today. One more big inhale. As you exhale, leading with your heart, go slow. We're gonna just fold over your front thighs. You're again, welcome to bend your knees here. Shake that head out, yes and no. So all you're gonna do is switch your thumbs up, put the other thumb on top, and then relace your fingers the other way. Stay a few more breaths, maybe bend one knee from side to side. Kind of getting into that side body if that feels good. One more breath. Release your hands down. Inhale, press away, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Reach those arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Just close the eyes. Come back to your intention right here. One more breath. Big inhale through your nose. Soft sigh out the mouth. Inhale, sweep those arms up to the sky. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Inhale, look forward. Make your way back through your vinyasa. So you can always personalize your vinyasas. If you want to add in more chaturanga push-ups, or maybe you've had enough and you don't want to do a vinyasa at all, that's absolutely fine. Do what works for you. So we're gonna take your right leg up to the sky, bend your knee and try to stack your right hip open over the left hip. So if you looked under your left arm, you would see your right foot hanging out over there, so you can check that. One more breath, and we're gonna take your right knee to your left tricep. So come forward to plank, bring your right knee across your body. Do that again, inhale, send that leg up, stack the hip. Exhale, bring it across, hold it here. So options, you can drop your shin, take a modified Vashisthasana. Maybe you float your leg through, or maybe you drop that foot, more of like a wild thing. So do whatever feels good in your body. You'll have a couple opportunities today. One more breath. Your left hand's gonna come down, your right knee's gonna come to your nose. So just drive that knee forward. Step it through, set up for a lunge. And then when you're ready, drop your left knee, inhale, crescent B. Inhale the arms up. As you exhale, sweep the arms back, lift the knee. Do that again, inhale, rise up. Exhale, sweep back and hold right here, hold. Left hand down, right arm up, take a twist. Right arm over the ear, get long. Right hand down, step back, take a vinyasa. Hold it here in downward facing dog. Send your left leg up on an inhale, bend your knee, open the hip. Put lots of energy equally in both hands. You can check again under your right arm for that right foot. One more breath. As you exhale, left knee toward the right tricep, maybe you tap it. Inhale, send that leg up again. Exhale, cross it over and hold. And then find your option here. Modified Vashisthasana maybe, float the leg or send it through. Wherever you are, we're all sending the right hip up to the sky, maybe arm over the ear. One more breath. Right hand comes down, left knee to the nose. Step that foot forward. So set yourself up for that lunge, knee is over the ankle. Drop the right knee, inhale, crescent B, send those hips forward. Exhale, sweep those arms back. Do that one more time with your breath. Pause here as your arms are reaching back. Create that nice long line of energy. Crown of the head down your spine to your right heel. Right hand down, take that twist. Left arm can be up to the sky or over the ear. Your right knee can be lifted or on the mat. One more breath. Left hand down, step back, take a vinyasa. Pause and down dog, come back to your breath. On your next inhale, right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. As you exhale, right knee, do that one more time. 
Find your option here. Two breaths. <laughs> Left hand down, right knee to the nose. Step that foot forward. Set your lunge up first and then drop your knee. Inhale, crescent B. Exhale, sweep back. One more. Stay right here, that long line of energy. So we're gonna lift from here into warrior three. So you might go right into it. You might grab your blocks and use those instead. I'm gonna run into the furniture here. So keep that left leg really active. So I want you to put the awareness in your right foot. We're gonna stand up on your right leg, bring your left knee up, or maybe you extend the leg. We're not gonna be here long. We're gonna go back to warrior three. See if you can float that leg back, go slow. Keep your eyes fixed on something in front of you, your drishti. Come on back up again. Pause here. This time, left ankle on your right thigh. Create a figure four, and then we're gonna bend your right knee. So you should have blocks handy, or paper towel rolls, whatever you've got. You can have your hands on that. You're focusing on this left hip. So your left foot is flexed. You can keep the hands at your heart or float them like wings. One more breath, and then we're gonna come out of this the way we came in. Slowly rise up, warrior three. Step back to crescent pose, landing on the ball of that foot. If you didn't quite land where you wanted, go ahead and just readjust yourself. We're gonna meet in warrior two. So spin that left foot flat. Right foot should be in line with your back foot. Sink into this right knee. So your left toes are turned in just a little bit. Right toes are straight to the front of your mat. And then check the energy in your legs. It should be equal energy coming forward and pressing into the outer edge. Soft gaze over your right hand. Turn your palms up to the sky. Allow your shoulders to slide down a little bit more. And then just flip the palms. Take this left hand behind your back. You're reaching toward that right hip crease. Keep that and then reverse your warrior. Now, if you have low back issues and you need more support, then please put your left hand on your back thigh. And then right forearm on your thigh. Side angle pose, Parsvakonasana. So see if you can keep that hand wrapped behind you. That left shoulder is moving away from your left ear. Keep your legs as they are. Inhale, reverse again. Reach up and back with that right arm. Side angle pose again. If you wanna bring your right hand to the floor or maybe you grab a block, place your hand on a block. And let's release that left arm up to the sky. Find warrior two again. Straighten your right leg. We're gonna turn your right toes toward the front and you're gonna grab your strap with your right hand. So we're gonna slightly pigeon toe your feet so heels are a little bit wider than your toes and the strap's gonna be in your right hand and just let it fall behind you. And the left arm's gonna reach behind here. I should mimic you guys. So that right elbow's pointing up. Take a big inhale, look up. Leading with your heart, slowly hinge and fold. Now as you start to fold, if you feel any discomfort in your low back, that's a sign that you should get more support for your back. So you're gonna to wanna to release the strap and let your hands come to the floor or your blocks. Crown of the head is relaxed down for the floor. Maybe shake your head out, yes and no. One more breath. Can you find a long spine and become parallel to the floor and just hold it there and then rise on up. Let that strap go. You can leave it behind you. We're gonna turn your right toes back to the front of the mat. Your left foot can stay as it is. Arms parallel to the floor. Reverse your triangle. Reach up and back, two straight legs this time. Inhale, rise up. Right hand on the leg, left arm up to the sky. So let's take that left hand again behind the back. Think shoulder away from your ear. So you really need to relax that shoulder away from your head. If you wanna float your right arm to work your core, feel free. More support would be keeping that hand on the thigh or the block. 
On your next inhale, sweep your left arm up to the sky. Come on back, warrior two. So we're gonna be moving into half moon pose from here. So think about floating into half moon pose. You'll float if you go slow. So reach forward. I like to do this with a block or floating the fingers. So if you're using your block, that block is slightly to the outside of your right pinky toe and forward. Maybe left hand stays at the hip. If you wanna float that left arm up, go for it. If you wanna take chipasana, left hand grabs the top of that left foot and you kick the foot into your hand. You can go there. If you have your foot, carefully release it with control. Don't fling it, just control it. We're gonna find warrior three with the block. So bring your left hand down on your block. So you've got two hands on blocks. Inhale, look forward, send your left foot away from you. Toes down to the floor. Exhale, bend your right knee, drive your left knee toward the nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to nose. Two more with your breath. Let's meet with that left leg extended back, looking forward. Bring your right hand to your hips. So you want your hips to feel nice and even. And when you've got that, take a revolved half moon, right arm reaches up. Draw the right hip back, open the heart. Maybe you reach back for that foot. Put the left foot in your right hand this time and kick the foot into your hand. It's an option, you don't have to take it. Two more breaths. Release your right hand down. I want you to set your feet up for pyramid, but we're gonna come up to standing. So rise on up. So pyramid pose, your right toes are forward, your left toes are slightly forward. Your hips should face the front of your mat. It's a short stance, very different than a triangle. So from here, we're gonna bring your arms in front of you. I want you to put your left arm on front. We're gonna eagle wrap our arms. Okay, so either our palms are touching or you're grabbing your shoulders. From here, just look up, take a little back bend, lifting the elbows, and then as you exhale, find a long spine, press into your right big toe to stay grounded, draw your right hip back, and fold. So your shoulder blades are separating on your back. But if you're low back, again, you're feeling anything, please release your hands to the floor or your blocks. Keep driving that right hip back, two more breaths. Release the hands down to the floor of the blocks. Couple more breaths here. Step your left foot forward to meet your right. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Just pause, breathe, and just connect with the breath. Come back to that intention. Maybe it was that one word you wanted to experience at the end of the practice today. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, long spine, hinge and fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back, take a vinyasa. Inhale your left leg up, bend your knee, open the hip. Left knee to right tricep, pause. Do that again, inhale, send the leg up. Cross it over and find your pleasure here. If you're feeling tired, modify your Vashisthasana, bring your shin down. If you're feeling spicy, you can float your left leg. One more breath, right hand down, left knee to your nose, send that foot forward. Set up for your lunge first, then drop that right knee. Inhale, crescent B. Exhale, lift the knee, sweep the arms back, crown of the head, reach forward. One more with your breath. Stay here. Lifting into warrior three when you're ready. Remember, you can use your blocks. Right toes are flexed down to the floor. Hips are parallel to the floor. Ground into your left foot. You're gonna rise up with that right knee. Give that knee a lift. Slowly extend the leg back. 
come on up again, slow, keep the eyes focused. This time, right ankle on your left thigh, flex your right foot and slowly bend your left knee. Hands can be at your heart. Hands can be like wings. Hands can be on your blocks. Couple more breaths right here. Breathe into that left hip. Slowly straighten your leg, lift that knee up. We're gonna send that leg back, warrior three. And step back to crescent pose. Set that crescent pose up, reach the arms up to the sky, and then open warrior two. And check your alignment, we're here for a bit. So right toes slightly forward, left toes are facing the front of your mat, and then sink into this knee. See if you can get the left knee over your ankle. Arms are energetically reaching away from the midline. Flip the palms again to relax those shoulders down the back. And then flip the palms back over. Right hand now comes behind the back, reaching for that left hip. Inhale, reverse. Keep sending your left knee forward. Side angle pose. Bring that left forearm on the thigh. Heart is spinning up toward the sky. Right shoulder is melting away from your ear. You're breathing fluidly. One more breath right here. Inhale, reverse, reach up and back. Side angle pose again. Maybe the hand comes to the floor or block or you stay right where you are with the forearm to the thigh. On your next inhale, sweep that right arm up to the sky. Warrior two, stay here and breathe. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Turn your left toes toward the side here. So big toes in, heels out. Grab that strap. It's going to go in your left arm this time. That elbow is going to fall behind you. So this left elbow is up high. Reach behind you with that right hand and clasp. Inhale, look up. Leading with your heart and with that left elbow, slowly begin to hinge and fold. And please, please, please honor your low back. If you're not feeling any screaming there, then you know you're okay. Otherwise, support your body, hands to the floor. Can you deepen your breath while you're here? Have a new perspective, upside down. Maybe a little clarity, two more breaths. Find that long spine first, become parallel to the floor. And then inhale, rise on up. Release your arms, drop your strap anywhere off of your mat. We're gonna turn your left toes forward. Arms become parallel to the floor. So put some energy in your left big toe, press down like you have a button underneath it and reverse your triangle, reach up and back. Keep pressing into that left big toe as you come forward, reach the left arm, right arm up to the sky. And just breathe here. If you want to take that half wrap, do whatever feels good in your body. If you took the wrap, go ahead and reach that arm back up. Come back to warrior two. We're gonna move and float again into your half moon pose. So reach forward, bring that right hand, can come right to the hip. You're gonna energize your right leg to lift you up, flex those toes. Once you feel like that right hip is peeled open over the left, then reach up. Then maybe look up. Keep flexing those toes toward you, so you should pull them toward the front. If you took Chapasana on the other side, you are welcome to take that here, unless you have an injury. If you have the back foot, release it. We're gonna release your right hand to the block. I want you to square your hips off. So if you're not sure your hips are square, bring your left hand to your hips and give them a feel. And then inhale, send that right leg back. As you exhale, bend your left knee a little, drive the right knee forward. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, drive the knee forward. Two more.
We'll meet with that right leg back. Bring again your left hand to your hips and make sure they feel square. If they don't, you're gonna probably have to adjust your right hip a little bit. Right toes are still flexed down to the floor. When you're ready, that left arm reaches up to the sky. Your right leg actively reaches back. Imagine you're pressing your right foot into a wall. And if you're pressing into the wall, that right leg is super strong and straight. Maybe you reach back with that left hand and grab the right foot and give it a lift. Maybe not. Listen to your body. One more breath. Release your left hand down. You're gonna step your right foot back and rise up, setting up for pyramid pose. So the hips are forward, left hip draws back. We're gonna grab, uh, did we do the strap? No, we did eagle wrap, that's what we did, sorry. Right arm on top. I'm asking Greg, he's out here with me. <laughs> so eagle wrap your arms. Your left hip is drawing back, right hip forward. Inhale, lift the elbows, gaze up. As you exhale, find your long, long spine first. Take that length with you as you fold. As you fold, your head relaxes, your shoulders separate, and your left hip draws back. Again, notice your back if it's okay or you need support. Make sure you're breathing. Send that breath into that space you're creating between your shoulder blades. One more breath. Release the arms down. One more breath here in pyramid and then just step your right foot forward to meet your left. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back to plank and just pause. We're gonna come down onto your forearm. So you're in a forearm plank. Now walk the feet way, way back, send your heels back and you're pressing the floor away from you with your forearms, just as you do in your down dog. From here, if you wanna stay in a forearm plank, you are of course welcome to stay right here. Otherwise, we're gonna walk our feet in for dolphin. So you're creating that down dog shape with your body. Head is relaxed. If you have a pinch of Maya Rasana practice and you wanna take that, feel free. If you wanna take dolphin push-ups, come with me. We're gonna lace our fingers together. Shoulders are over your wrists. You're gonna inhale, bring the chin in front of your fingers. As you exhale, press your chest back. We're gonna do that three more times. So you can pick something else to do. You can stay in dolphin. You can stay in a forearm plank. You can find child's pose. This is your practice, your time. One more if you're doing dolphin push-ups with me. So we're gonna meet in a forearm plank so you can release the arms if they're laced. Walk your feet back and let's all let the hips melt down to the mat. Untuck your toes, find Sphinx pose. So energetically drag your elbows back toward you. Gaze over your left shoulder. And then look over the right. And then from here, I'm gonna have you take your right hand behind for you, the outer edge of your right foot. And we're gonna lower down onto our torso. So from here, you're gonna send your left arm forward and you're gonna kick the right foot into your hand. So left arm reaching forward, your right hand is wrapped around your right ankle and you're kicking and lifting. It's like a half dancer pose or a half locust. We're gonna be coming to dancer in a little bit. One more breath. And then release your left forearm down, let that foot go, make a little pillow with your forearms, left ear to your arms or right ear, doesn't matter. Just take a breath or two, maybe rock your hips from side to side. And then we're gonna switch that up. So your left hand's gonna reach behind, grab the ankle, right arm's gonna reach forward, you're gonna kick and lift. So you're reaching, reaching through the right hand and the left foot, the right leg stays on the mat. Two more breaths. Can you use your breath to lift you? And release it. Forearm pillow again. This time we're gonna bend the knees and windshield wiper from side to side. And then we're gonna make our way back to down dog or child's pose, your choice.
From here, send your right leg up behind you, bend your knee, stack your hip, bring your right knee to your left tricep. We're not gonna go through that whole sequence. Don't worry, inhale, send the leg up. Exhale, cross it over again, find your option here. You can drop that shin. Left hip is lifting, one more breath. Left hand down, right knee to the nose. Step that fit, foot forward and just rise up to crescent pose this time. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, lift the sternum and then take a prayer twist, hooking that left elbow to the outside of the knee. You can drop your left knee to the mat here. I want you to take the right palm, press it down in the left. Draw your belly button in toward the spine. Ready? You have a wrapper, um, half wrapper, full wrap, or an arm balance here. You're welcome to take it. Two more breaths. Find your way back to crescent. Reach your arms up. And then find warrior three. So again, you can use your blocks and find your warrior three here. We're gonna rise up to standing, bend your right knee, lift that left knee up. Make your way back to warrior three. One more time, we rise up together, lift that knee, place the ankle on the thigh, have a seat. Those left toes are flexed. Now, if you wanna take flying pigeon here, or a variation of it. You can just, you can have your hands on your blocks maybe to wrap. So in this pose, you wanna take your left toes, wrap your right tricep, and maybe you just play right here with shifting that weight. If you have the full pose, you can bring those hands down, look forward, sending the right leg back energetically. Or you can just stay in that figure four, you're getting a great hip opener. One more breath wherever you are. We're gonna rise back up, lift that left knee. Just give it a lift, maybe extend the leg and release your left foot down next to your right. Hands at your sides, Tadasana. Just breathe right here. One more breath. So from here, we're gonna come into dancer pose. I'm gonna have you keep your left foot on the mat. Your right hand's gonna grab the inside of your right foot. And we're gonna start right here with that left arm up to the sky, right hand to the inside of your right foot. That keeps your hips in line and helps avoid your knee from splaying out. You can stay here, you can start to reach and kick with equal energy. That's the key of this pose. Go slow, reach forward and kick back with equal energy. Focus your eyes on something that isn't moving. Two more breaths. Slowly make your way back to Tadasana. Arms at your sides, just feel the effects of that pose. It's very energizing. Let's take a big inhale through the nose together. Open your mouth, let something go. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. You're gonna make your way to down dog however you wanna get there. Maybe you just wanna step back. Maybe you want a vinyasa with 10 chaturanga push-ups. Do what works for you. Inhale, your left leg up, bend your knee, open the hip. Left knee to right tricep. Do that again. Inhale, send the leg up. Exhale, cross it over and find your option here. Again, you can modify. One more breath, send your right hip up a little more. Right hand down, left knee to your nose. Step that foot forward. You're gonna rise up into crescent pose. Bring your hands to your heart. Bring your spine forward. We're gonna hook that right elbow to the outside of the knee. Prayer twist. So you're pressing the left hand down and the right. Maybe you're taking an arm balance. Maybe you're modifying, dropping your knee. You can wrap here. You can open the arms. So I want you to think about sending the crown of your head forward, 
draw your belly button in and reach your right heel away from you. Can you give me two more breaths? We're gonna meet back in crescent pose. We're gonna reach forward, find warrior three. Flex those right toes. We're gonna rise up on that left leg, draw the right knee up or the extended right leg. Warrior three, send the leg back. Come on back up, Oops, lifting that knee. We'll place the right ankle in a figure four. Focus your eyes somewhere and bend your knee. Find your figure four. Now this side might be a different experience. Maybe your right hip feels entirely different than your left. So honor it, take it where you wanna go. I'll walk you through it again. So again, you can have hands on blocks. Probably not paper towel rolls. I wouldn't, that wouldn't be secure. So don't use those if you've got them but you're wrapping your right toes around your left tricep and you make a shelf with your triceps for your shin. And maybe you just play with it. Maybe this sounds so awkward, like what is she talking about? And just put your hands down and get comfortable shifting your weight forward like you would in Bakasana. And then maybe you'd send the leg back. It's a great hip opener. One more breath. We're gonna rise up to standing, lift that leg up, and then just release it down next to you. Find mountain pose right here. Take a couple of deep breaths, feel that rush of energy, that blood flowing through the body. And then we're gonna take the left hand to the inside of your left foot. So you wanna make sure that that knee doesn't do what I'm doing right now where it's splaying open. You wanna keep it the hips in line with each other. And then when you're ready, reach forward and back with equal energy. Focus your eyes in front of you, three or four feet away from you. And your left foot is actively kicking into your hand. You should feel a nice stretch in that left shoulder. And your hip flexor, a couple more breaths. Slowly come back to standing. Release your legs and your arms. Take a deep breath. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, make your way back to down dog. Maybe one more vinyasa, maybe not. Big inhale through your nose, let it go. Make your way into child's pose, big toes together, knees apart. Let your hips sink back towards your heels. And then with your arms, I'm gonna have you come into a, like a namaste prayer position with the hands and then bring your thumbs to the back of your neck. Just breathe here. And then release your hands. You're gonna walk your hands back towards your knees and please grab your strap or towel. So we're gonna do a hip opener, shoulder opener. It's called Gomukhasana or cow face pose. So this pose, we're gonna set the legs up first because depending on your hips, your legs might do something different. So the ideal version of this pose, you would, we're gonna start with the right leg in front. So you put the right knee in front of the left knee and you sit down separating your feet. So the knees ideally are stacked, the feet are separated. Now, this might not work for you. You might wanna grab your paper towel roll or a block, sit up on it, that might help. Or if that does not feel right for you, you're gonna just bring your right chin in front of your left. So kind of figure out where you wanna be. And again, it might be a different experience on the other side. Then your strap or towel is gonna to go in your left hand. So we're gonna do the same thing we did when we were standing. Let that left elbow bend. You're gonna reach behind with your right hand. Make sure both of your cheeks are on your mat right now. And then inhale, look up. Find a long spine, take that spine forward over your knees. 
and you're gonna fold and breathe. Let's inhale slow for four. Hold at the top. Exhale slow. Hold it at the bottom. Inhale slow. Hold. Exhale slow. Hold it at the bottom. On your next inhale, rise on up. Let your arms go, shake them out. And then just switch your legs up. Again, it might be different on this side. So take your time figuring out what works on this side, but the left knee is on top or left shin is in front and the strap will go in your right hand. So this elbow's pointing up. We're gonna take the left arm behind, grab what you can, maybe your fingers lace, and then inhale, look up. Lead with the elbow. Find a long spine as you hinge and fold over your legs. And then together, inhale slow. Hold it. Exhale. And hold it. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale, let go. Hold it at the bottom. On your next inhale, rise on up. Let that go. Shake those legs out in front of you. Give them a little jiggle asana, I like to call that. And then we're going to inward spiral each side. So grab one leg, roll it in, do the same with the other side. And then flex your toes. So as you flex your feet back, you should feel your quadriceps engaged. I want you to keep that. And then inhale, reach up. As you exhale, you're gonna reach forward and pause. Maybe is a, right now is a good time. You grab your straps, wrap them around your feet. Inhale, get longer, and then exhale, pull your heart forward. We'd like you to gaze beyond your feet as opposed to looking down at your thighs. Look forward. Press the back of your legs into the mat. Try to use your inhales to elongate your spine. One more breath right here. Slowly come on up. We're gonna make our way onto our backs. So scooch forward. If you have a block, have that one handy. Make your way onto your backs. I was planning to do core work. I'm gonna skip it. I hope you guys don't mind. We did enough today. <sighs> okay, walk your feet in. You're gonna press down in your feet, lift your hips. Actually, let's take a bridge pose first before we move into shoulder stand. So find your bridge. You can keep walking your feet a little closer as you press down to lift up and think about scooping your tailbone under so those hips lift. And then let's bend the elbows so the fingers are up to the sky and press down in those elbows. Notice your hips lift a little more. Maybe this feels good for you or maybe you've had enough and you wanna stick that block underneath you. Or maybe you want to lace your fingers. We've done lots of shoulder openers that you might really be able to tuck those shoulders under. If you want to take a full back bend and you can do that safely, of course, feel free to go there. Take about four more breaths. Feel free to play with extending one leg up to the sky at a time if you want. One more breath, press into both feet. Can you lift your hips a little more? If your arms are underneath you, release it, block the shoulder blades out, and slowly lower one vertebrae at a time, coming down. Draw the knees into your chest. Let's find a happy baby. Grab the outer edges of your feet, gently rock from side to side. See if you can press your sacrum down into the mat. And then bring your legs together, release your feet back down to the mat. So we're gonna come into um, a shoulder stand. I like to teach it with a block. If you can safely go to shoulder stand, feel free. If you wanna take another inversion, a headstand, a handstand, 
pinch your Mayurasana, go for it. Otherwise, take your block, slide it underneath your hips. I recommend the middle or low height, not the tall height. And then from here, your legs can go up to the sky. So you're creating this nice L shape in your body. And just take some per inversion you are in. Two more breaths. Slowly bring one foot down at a time. Press into both feet, lift your hips, remove the block if you're using one, and slowly curl your spine down to the earth. Lace your fingers around your right knee. Give that knee a squeeze as you extend your left leg long. Maybe rotate your ankle in both directions. And with your left hand, guide your knee across your body. Reach your right arm right as you gaze over that right shoulder. On your next inhale, bring your right knee back to center. Give it a squeeze and then switch it up. That left knee draws in, rotate the ankle. And with your right hand, guide your knee across your body. Extend your left arm, look left. Slowly bring your leg back to center. Give it a squeeze. Bring your right knee in to meet your left. If there's any other postures your body's craving before Shavasana, feel free to take it. Otherwise, lift your nose up towards your knees, curl up like a little ball. Take a big inhale here. And as you exhale, let everything go into Shavasana. We're gonna let your legs be wide on the mat. Allow your feet to just swap open. You can let go of controlling the breath. And then together, let's take a big inhale through your nose. Open mouth sigh, just allowing your body to dissolve into Shavasana. We'll be here for just a couple minutes. I will guide you out of it. Slowly begin to bring some awareness back to the body. Wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. On your next inhale, reaching your arms over your head onto the floor for one final stretch from the fingertips all the way down to your toes. Take a big inhale here. And as you exhale, draw your knees into your chest, gently rocking from side to side. Allowing your knees when you're ready to gently fall over to the right. 
just take a moment here. Don't rush out of this pose and just notice how you feel. And when you are ready, make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Your cameras are off and you wanna put them on. I'd love to see all your smiling faces. And just bring your hands together at your heart. Close the eyes and just come back to that one word that you picked and just acknowledge if you were able to accomplish that feeling by the end of your practice. And if not, no judgment. You still have the rest of your day. And take a moment again in appreciation of the practice of breathing. And together, take a big inhale through your nose and an audible sigh out the mouth. One more time, big inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Thank you all so very much for saving an hour of your Sunday to share with me and with each other. May the sun always shine through your heart, into your smile, and warm your soul. Have a lovely day. Namaste. I still have you guys muted, so I gotta unmute you. Thank <laughs> you.